Hello Gemini, this is Simone, Moon Goddess CC with your weekly tarot reading for the 9th of November to the 15th of November. It's been a while. I've missed you guys. Thank you so much for all the subscribers who are still with me. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you for all the love and support. It's so appreciated. So, let's get started for Gemini. Um, this reading will be for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising. Okay. What messages do you have for Gemini? Thank you. Let's see. So. Under the deck this week for Gemini is Ten of Pentacles. I always think of this card as a tribe card. Um, it could be about, you know, it's about being able to share all that you've gained, whether it's money or otherwise, um, knowledge. Pentacles tends to be about finances, money, etc. So it's like having gained so much and now you're able to share with your tribe with your family with your friends that's why i think of when i see the ten of pentacles so that's the underlying energy for this week for, for gemini you're right now this is you this is your card um ten of swords reversed so it's um it's almost as if you're dealing with some kind of situation where you are not allowing yourself to free you're not allowing yourself to heal you're not freeing yourself from the hurt and the pain that that situation might have caused and uh, this might be something recent or something from your past 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 but whatever it is you are just bleeding 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 and not letting go of that energy not allowing that cycle to pass that's you this week for your personal growth and well-being this is 10 of cups so you you guys have tens all over the place this is and look at how beautiful this is this is what you need to do you need to th this is where you can be if you allow this situation to end if you stop picking at the scab sorry if it's a bit <laughs> But you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Just you just keep going over it, whether it's in your mind or or discussing it with friends or family. Um not allowing this to pass, but this is what spirit is asking you. This is what spirit is saying can happen if you allow that situation to die. Look at how beautiful that is, look at how much harmony, how many how much how blessed they look, how happy they look. All the cups lined up in a beautiful rainbow, you know, harmony, blessings, prosperity, abundance with self. It starts with self and it, it comes outwards. So this week, Gemini, remember this, please let whatever this is just, mm -mm. it's over and done with. You've bled enough. For your home and family life is the emperor. So I don't know if this is this this energy is what's caused this pain. You know, the emperor is very um this could be an Aries. This is Aries energy that you're dealing with. Um this is a a, a an author a Somebody in authority, somebody who's very strict, somebody who's very serious. Um, I don't know if that's the kind, that's what's causing this hurt and pain. Or maybe you're struggling with dealing with two, two aspects of yourself as Gemini twin. I don't know. Um... But 
underlying this is this sense of tribe and community so maybe this is the type of person that you're dealing with at home or in your family but even though this person might be even though the emperor is very much it's not a, a I wouldn't really say this is a very emotional type of energy this is a very like I always say cross dot the i's cross the t's very um matter of fact and to the point that doesn't necessarily mean that this is not with love this might just be the way how that person knows how to love by by trying to get you to pull things together maybe they're the ones telling you you need to get over it maybe that's the type of energy this person's giving you you need to get over it you know you need to move on type of thing it might seem harsh but that's the way how they show love don't know if that makes any sense to you guys you gemini's um or maybe this type of energy is what's causing this pain um Maybe you can reach out to to some friends or families and other family members who can help bring some kind of balance with this this dynamic that's happening or that's happened. But I still go back to personal growth and well being. This is what spirit is saying is available to you. This is the energy that's available to you. If you um stop worrying and stop fighting the healing process in your love and relationship sector it's ace of wands reversed so i don't know if some of you might be feeling as if there's nothing happening in that department um whether willingly or unwillingly i don't know if you guys again because you are not allowing a past hurt, whether with the person that you're with. Maybe the relationship is not dead. But because of whatever wrongs you feel you've encountered, there's no energy, there's no spark, there's no fire happening. Um, or maybe in a past relationship, you, you know, you've met somebody, you're with somebody else. But because of a past hurt or pain or fear, you're kind of blocking that energy from flowing. There's no fire happening. Or this is signifying that in your current situation, your current relationship, there's no, you know that there's no spark. It, there's no fire. This, there's nothing that, nothing more can be had. So you need to let that die so that something fresh and new fire can come, come into play. Um, remember, this is, this is possible. So if you let everything that needs to go, let all the dead leaves fall away. This is what? This is self. This is you. This is about you. This is about your personal growth, your well-being. If you let this fall away. And in turn injecting this and in, injecting new energy so that, you know, new fire, new opportunities, new growth can come into play. In your work and career sector is the magician reversed. Again, upright the magician is, he has everything he needs. He's, he, his mind, body, spirit are working together to create greatness. But this can't happen if you are constantly holding on to the past and not allowing the old to fall away so that you can create some newness. 
you are the creator of your reality you're the creator of whatever whatever you dream you can make happen but it can't come together it cannot manifest if you do not let this old dead energy fall away Remember, under all of this, the underlying energy of this is tribe. So whatever difficulty you might be experiencing, there's no need for you to go through it alone. You know? Yes, it's great to take time out to reconnect to yourself. But don't let that turn into isolation. You have people who love you, reach out to them so that these energies can flow, so that you, so this can happen. Look at how beautiful that is. So you are in control of, you might not be in control of other people's behaviors and other people's reaction, etc. But you are in control of yourself. When you're in control of your thoughts, you know, your mind, you're in control of your reality. So in turn, you can then achieve this goal, this new job, this job idea, this um, business idea, whatever is holding you back is blocking you from making this beautiful creative energy come through yeah so gemini this week i just want you guys i just want this i want this so much for you and this could be this could this is yes this is the personal growth and well-being but this extends to all aspects of of your life so you let this go to allow this to flow. You know, to allow your home life to flow, to allow your love life to flow, to let to allow your work life to flow. To, yeah, just Gemini. You guys got this. You guys got this. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. This card again. Popped out earlier for another um, sign happy 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 let's let me read it quickly for you so happy happy essential meanings joy and contentment sense of fulfillment a feeling that all is well your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is the result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. So Gemini, you bled enough. Let it fall away. Dead leaves. It's time. This is waiting for you. This is this is the vibe for you. I want this for you so much, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for subscribing, for liking, for sharing. If you guys are interested in the person reading, you can contact me on my website, moongoddesscc.com or on my Instagram, moongoddess, at moongoddesscc. Um, I love to connect with you. Um, yeah, guys, Gemini, have a beautiful, wonderful week. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved. Bye. Coming, coming to you loud, loud and clear. Like the rain, everyone's attention.